Entangling the intricacies. Changing question structure in reported speech. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English learning journey. Today we're delving into a fascinating aspect of English language, reported speech. More specifically, we're going to focus on the topic of changing question structure in reported speech. It might seem a bit challenging at first, but don't worry, we're here to break it down for you. Let's get started. Before we dive into changing question structures, it's crucial we understand what direct speech and reported speech are. Direct speech is when the exact words of a speaker are quoted, for example, Will you come to the party? Sam asked. Reported speech, also known as indirect speech, is when we tell someone what another person said, but without using their exact words. Using our previous example, in reported speech it would be, Sam asked if you would come to the party. Let's get to the heart of today's topic. When we report questions, the word order becomes like an affirmative sentence structure. This means the subject comes before the verb. For instance, what time does the train leave? Becomes, he asked what time the train left. Remember, yes or no. Questions often introduce reported speech with if or whether. WH questions maintain the WH word at the beginning in reported speech. Now, what happens to our modal verbs in reported questions? They usually change tense. For example, can you help me? Becomes, she asked if I could help her. Lastly, let's look at negative forms and questions in reported speech. Simply put, didn't you go to the party? Becomes, he asked if you hadn't gone to the party. Let's practice what we've learned with these sentences. Try to convert them into reported speech. 1. Where is the library? He asked. 2. Can I borrow your book? She asked. 3. Aren't you going to the concert? He asked. Thank you for joining us today as we explored how to change question structure in reported speech. It might seem a little tricky at first, but with practice, you'll master it in no time. Keep practicing, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!